Friday Hockey Avs Bets episode. The legend AJ Hayfley on. How are you doing, my man? I'm good. Ready for yeah. tonight? Yep. Yeah, it's a big one. A little bonus work for you. Um, and as the GM, I know you actually you don't get paid any extra for this bonus work. They should have ended it in five, and you should have a free Friday night. Yeah. Thanks for that reminder. Yeah. Hey, you, say, you say I don't get paid any extra bonus work. Now I feel like going and doing something else. I decline your bets offer. Find somebody else to do it. I know, truly. We had you on TDSP too. I'm screwing you at every turn these last few days. And the abs. The abs must take credit for screwing you to some extent. Yeah. As well. And um, as we talked about before the show, Fadati last weekend. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So. Exactly. AJ and Great I were to be uh, me. <laughs> yeah, commiserating as a uh, Ferrari fans. Um, before Yaya kicked off the intro, I said, uh, it's, it often feels like being a Buffalo Bills fan. And um, that's how we launched the show. So, yeah, big Friday vibes for these guys over here. <laughs> um, but, yeah, man, actually, off air, your vibes were phenomenal going into a game six on the road. Little, little did you, I am sure you haven't heard this before, AJ. So I'm delighted to be the first one to tell you the road team four and one in this series. So uh, it bodes well for the abs if that trend were to, to continue tonight. Oh, we lost your mic. AJ is gonna do this. This is a fun game where his mic is gonna go out on us. It just randomly, <laughs> I, I'm not even, I'm not even close to it. Even, and it just even, disconnects from StreamYard, man. I tell you, it's it's a cool system. It's terrible. It's a good thing you'll be at the bar for the game. Watch the funny along. thing is, the ironic part of this is, is that I told myself I'll finally pull the trigger on my new headset and mic if the Avs win game five. <laughs> I'll drop. Oh, I'll be feeling good, and oh. so I'll be fine to drop the cash. And then they blew that game, and so I was like, all right, well, I won't do it now. Now I just feel oh. bad about everything. Oh, I don't want to spend money on top of it. Oh man, what a what a what a blow. What a blow. That one really hurts. Um also the lighting on your Ferrari hat immaculate, by the way, on this stream. Yeah. So it's really I amazing. tell you, the, the mood lighting down here is perfect for today. If they honestly should give us a, a chunk of change for how well we're representing the brand. But as everyone knows, Ferrari a luxury brand. We we aren't gonna get a sniff of that money. So best of luck to us. Um, what we can do is make money on DraftKings Sportsbook by betting on Ferrari or fading them, depending on how we're feeling on that week. But that's enough nonsense for today because it is a packed weekend and a packed day of sports. Obviously, the big one is game six um, in the city by the arch. I don't know what they call St. Louis. Uh, they the we probably, city. Yeah, we probably should be calling it a lot worse. But we have... Because AJ is obviously so so involved doing his actual real work, we're giving him, we're bringing back the old pick draft board where I pitch AJ eight picks that I've come up with, and he gets to pick his big three from that. And if they're all garbage, he will have to make his own big three a la carte or a tableside Caesar, as we call it on this show. So yeah, yeah, bring up the graphic. Let me start by pitching AJ on an NHL and mostly abs heavy, but we, we, we've got some fun ones from the Carolina uh, Rangers series as well to pitch you. So let's start Rangers money line. This game's tomorrow. Yes. Um, yeah. And uh, there's not much to say, AJ, this one, the home teams won every single game. Igor has another 30 plus save game and they force a game seven. Just, just feels like that's the, the way this is trending. Yeah, that uh, that Rangers, uh, well, in the Hurricanes, it continues to be fascinating. Yeah. yeah. That they just, they just can't, they, they can't seem to just break through the way that mm -hmm. we've been waiting. Like, they've been like this darling of the NHL for years. Everybody loves Rod Brindamore and, you know, oh, analytically, their front office is, is on the cutting edge of things and they they do so many things really well. And then the old hockey axioms show up in the postseason. A hot goaltender just seems to get them every single year. And there's no there's no goaltender hotter than Igor Shesterkin. 
I, I mean, I guess Vasilevsky was, <laughs> was not, not too shabby, but yeah. just Shesterkin's uh, regained the form. He had a little bit of a dip in that Penn series, but he's regained the form in this series. He's he's been unbelievable. Yeah, and after they dropped the first two, he's been over thirty saves every single game, I believe, and they're obviously um, two and one, uh, or yeah, two and one. So there you go. That's the pitch on that one. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. See how you like these other ones. Landy over two and a half shots on goal, minus one sixty. Honestly, this has been very hit or miss, and I'm surprised by the juice. This is more of a no. I wanted you to give me a vibes check on this. Is 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 the juice right here? Or, uh, does the book know something I don't know? Is this just one of those where the captain's going to go off and be in front of the net, tipping pucks in left and right? I don't. I don't mind the two and a half shots on goal part of it, but the minus one sixty is not good enough. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I would say. Um, Avs over three and a half goals. That's just the team over minus 105 seems very modest juice. Um, maybe I'm cheating here because you and I talked about this game a little bit yesterday and you had a feeling that they might just blow doors off this one. So over three and a half at such modest juice seems yeah. very nice. Well, they've scored. They've scored four goals in the last three games. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that with Ville Husso in net, although he was good uh, in that last no game, doubt. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just think that this has turned into a higher scoring series. Yeah. No, no battle of Alberta, but sure. Uh, a, a high enough scoring series that betting on that, that I'll, if I can go ahead and pick that one immediately, then yeah, I'm taking abs over three and a half. Beautiful. Yeah, Battle of Alberta, the, the over was like literal, like the ability to bet on the over at even money at six and a half was simply stealing. Um, And then, as you know, in this series, much like the road team seems to win every game, the team that scores first seems to also lose. So in some way, a good omen, maybe the St. Louis first goal plus 115, though maybe not how you see the game unfolding. Yeah, I so that the that that St. Louis scored the first goal. Mm -hmm. uh, the first four games of the series was a major anomaly, uh, given Colorado's right. year. Right. Um, I, I, I'm just gonna lean back on. I, I mean, I like that. The I like the odds on it because it's it's a coin flip. Like, oh, who's gonna score first? But I don't, mm -hmm. I don't think that. I, I think that there are better options on the board here. Love it. One might be Av's last goal scored, which, of course, if you think, uh, you know. This uh, this turns out to be Avs nursing a lead. Last couple minutes, self-explanatory at minus yeah. one thirty-five. Um, the the empty net opportunity, maybe an overtime goal. Those are both. Those right. are both. All, you know, um, and you know they could score the third. They they could they could win four to three and score the fourth goal. Two minutes to play in the second period. Nothing happens in the third at all, and you're like, oh yeah, I forgot I won that bet. Right, but, right. that's true. That's a that's so like you're really you're really leaning into certain things happening. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so maybe feels too juicy to you. I, I I didn't write this out too well, but goal in the first ten minutes over, meaning it hits the first goal doesn't go in the first ten; it goes past the first ten, and does feel like the first goals come a little later in this series. Yeah, I could see I could see both teams being playing this one really safe early on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, hey, we don't want to make the big mistake. We don't want to get it behind. We don't want to chase. Uh I think I think I would I'm good. Uh, minus one sixty five though. That's I know. They're on to us. Yeah. They're on to us. But you know, winning bet is a winning bet. Um yeah. the general over for the game, six and a half. We kind of covered that. You could double up on that. And then a fun little future series bet, Carolina to win the series 4-3. So this, it's almost like a parlay. You're you're presuming the Rangers win game six and that Carolina goes to game seven at home and closes this thing out at plus 225. Yeah, I'm picking that. Are you? Yeah. Just, uh, you know, I, 
I love the expression, a series never starts <clears throat> until the Roan team wins a game. What happens in this one if just the home team wins every single game? The series never started? That's what happened in Carolina's first series against Boston. The home team won every game. Carolina had home ice advantage, so they moved on. Yeah, fair enough. If it's so, if it's gonna happen again, I don't know. I, I don't know that a team has ever done that before. They've lost every road game and they've won every home game, but then they get to the conference final anyway. Wow. I mean, that's that's a like Carolina's on the verge of making some goofy history here. No kidding. Even in the NBA, that's completely unheard of. Yeah, I I mean that. You lose every road game. Yeah, that's not <laughs> like if you're good enough to beat the team that you're playing, but you just can't do it on the road. I don't. I don't. It's it's wild. But so, I. It's fun to it's fun to root for, and I love those odds at four three. Yeah. Uh, yep. All okay. they have to do, you know, Shesterkin steals one more game, and then Carolina goes back home where they haven't lost yet. So that feels that feels like a, a surefire one. And then Colorado St. Louis on the over six and a half tonight. Yeah. Boom. There you go. I think it'll be a slow start, and and then the floodgates open. I mean, we saw it last game where games, the goals just came in bunches. Yeah, Um, yeah. I think I think it'll be. I think it's. I think this is going to be a a heavyweight fight tonight. I think it's going to be a prize fight. I think there's going to be a lot of a lot of momentum swings, a lot back and forth. Mm. Oof! I don't know if I can even handle that, but I also cannot (laughs) wait um yeah yeah let's go to a lot yeah exactly um and so just to recap that's abs over three and a half at a very modest minus 105 the game over of six and a half uh abs blues and carolina to close that series out in seven winning four three at plus 225 that's a juicy one that's uh that's some real odds if if aj hits that one we'll be singing his praise on monday um actually would we know by monday yeah. When would game seven be? Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Saturday. Oh, game six is Saturday. So it'd have to be Monday, right? Yeah, I guess it would be Monday night. So we'd be singing your praises Tuesday. Um, let's go to my big three real quick because we've got an abs SGP and playoff parlay yeah, of Monday. the weekend huh. potentially to put together. Who knows? I, I don't know if we have a dilemma of the week. Um, okay. Mac over four and a half shots on goal. That's basically been automatic. We got back on track last game. Of course, I mean, three of those weren't just on goal, but through the goalie and into the net as actual goals themselves at minus 140. We had those, you know, those those two losses um, earlier in this series where he didn't hit that over and then it's just been automatic. He's really been averaging over six shots on goal. That's easy peasy. Um Taze, Devon Taze, he starts off really hot on this metric in the Pred series, um, really hammering home the shots on goal, has been kind of on a skid at the last couple, I believe one in three in the last four. I think Taze has a bounce back, gets those two and a half shots on goal. I also I have to presume as the games get more important that guys like Taze, guys like McCarr, their minutes are just going to get crazier and crazier. Yeah. Because you are you're, you're minus Sammy G, so you you kind of got to. Um, the and man had... after after how poorly everybody on the defense played at the end of the last game, uh, they could really lean harder into uh, their top pairing. Like I expect Taves and Makar will play thirty minutes each tonight. Uh, why not? Um, also, what? How is Connor McDavid on the ice at all times? As an aside. What the hell? Every other shift, man, he's out there. They just they understand that that they go as Connor goes, and so they maximize him out there. It's bi- bionic, man. I mean, yeah. say all the shit you can. Like it's insane to see a guy that size skate the way he does. But that's the thing that's really crazy to me is that the dude's just on the ice constantly. All right, and then he's big crazy. Chan- well, he's crazy. Uh, it'll be you know will be a very enjoyable Western Conference Finals. Um, entertaining. Will be will be fun to get that. And then Champions League Final, Real Madrid, Liverpool. Um, one team's the only team that has more Champions League trophies uh, than my team, AC Milan. The other one, Liverpool, with this win, could tie my team with uh, second most trophies. We're going with Real Madrid and the coach, Carlo Ancelotti, which soccer-wise is like my Mike Shanahan, AJ. 
he's the dude I grew up with um, when I was in middle school and high school, brought me all the great wins that really give me, um, you know, that's why, I, that's why I wear my my head up high. But anyways, Real feels like a team of destiny and that plus 150, you get the tie no bet to hedge a little bit. Um, so if it goes to overtime, whatever, you're going to get your money back if they win it in 90 plus 155 is great odds. Then if it, if it went to overtime, I just jump right back in. Um, so there you go. That's a big three, an international big three. And uh, all, of course, at DraftKings Sportsbook, where you can take AJ's big three. Look how beautiful that looks. Punch it in, double over, series prop, tons of juice all around. Great juice on my Devante shots on goal as well. All at DraftKings Sportsbook, the kings of Sportsbook. It's in their name. AJ and I, we started off with draft pods. AJ's my OG uh, draft, uh, you know, pod host around these parts. Um, so, you know, it's all it's all full, full circle. DraftKings Sportsbook. Right now, new users interested in the NBA. There's a boosty on that Heat Celtics game in that one at DraftKings Sportsbook. New users right now, $5 and NBA money line, you get back $150. And that's on top of them matching that first deposit. Uh, you'll put down up to $1,000 when you use that code DNVR only at the homies from DraftKings Sportsbook. Of course, must be 21 or older. Colorado only. Bonus comprised of first deposit bonus and a first bet match, each up to $500. Deposit bonus requires 25 times playthrough. Restrictions do apply. See DraftKings.com slash sportsbook for details. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-522-4700. All right, AJ. I got to clear my bet slip. I got to put these picks in that you suggested, that I suggested, and it's time to build an as SGP where the homies at DraftKings Sportsbook have uh, given us a 50% boost. So not too shabby right there. Um, there we go. Devontae's, Nathan McKinnon. And you're, so you're all in on the Rangers today. Uh, sure. Okay. Okay. I mean, confident, you know, whatever. Confidence sometimes... Uh, Sometimes it's no good anyway. So, but all right, um, let's flip that thing into SGP mode, AJ. I think what we found, the best way to go is keep these smaller, more condensed. Pick two safe ones, go a little more, you know, big hack on another one and use that 50% boost to bring it home. Um I would start with something like abs over three and a half. Yeah. Build, build that bottom layer. Yeah. Um, then we could even throw the over six and a half in here. A little correlated. It puts at us plus 140. Nothing crazy, but okay. Do you have any leanings on goal scores? I'm wearing my my Nas shirt, by the way. Uh, goal scores... I don't know. Does Miko get off the... That's the question, right? So I know. That's the existential question. Can can, can Miko Rantanen find himself in this series? You know, after, after watching both Tarasenko and Robert Thomas do it last game for St. Louis, it's like, okay, Miko's turn, right? Like, that's how this works? Well, and Matt kind of got off the schnei, too. too. I mean, he, oh. he majorly got off the schnei. But... True, true enough. Um, yeah. I, I do think Max scores tonight. Um, I don't know that it's a hat trick, but I do feel good that yeah. he, he gets back on the board. Yeah. Um, I also I would, like, also, I would Max... throw in there um, if you could find a Kale McCarr assist on the power play. Mm. I would sneak one of those in there because I think that's coming. Okay. AJ, um, while I look for that, what about this theory that guys like Mac with their speed, as you go further in a series, they're just going to start finding more open ice and start flying by guys a little more as that fatigue, the, the legs get a little heavier or is that just like BS? Um, no, I mean, I don't, I don't know that I would buy it. If you were trying to sell me as a theory that those guys, I just think for me, I just think that Nathan McKinnon is too good to have been as quiet as he, as he's right. been in the series overall. And obviously, like, that's a thunderous response in game five. 
I, again, I won't expect something like that, but I will. Ex- I, I, I don't think that like a two point night is out of the question for Mac. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it, I think some of that will depend on like part of, part of McKinnon's problem is the fact that Miko hasn't played well, you know, um, and when, when, when they broke, when they've broken that line up, when it's been Miko down with Kadri, Miko started to play a little bit better, yeah. but then McKinnon has to try and, you know, make it work with Landis Gog and Lekkanen. And he doesn't have any chemistry at all with Arturi right. Lekkanen. Uh, and like, that's just a really, like Mac has to be, he, it's really hard for him to defer as much as he wants to defer and play make when he's with those guys. Um, because they do all of their all of their damage really uh, around the net, yeah, right. and right. so it's you know he he doesn't have nearly the ice that that he does when Miko is out there uh, to to kind of play make and have a guy that can that can do the things that Rantanen can. So it's it's tougher it's tougher without him. But you know when Miko's not playing well, it doesn't really matter that much, right? Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I mean, you need Miko to unlock. Like, you can't. Yeah, a, a dude that good, few teams can afford. Um, you know, for for like stars of that caliber on your team to not produce five games yeah. into a playoff series. Definitely. Just, you know, like no, no disrespect to the guy. He's amazing. Love watching, him, but I mean, for that's sure. just how the series has unfolded. Can't get that um, power play assist. I'll throw in the Avs money line that puts us at plus three fifty. Boost it plus five twenty five. You might also, uh, if you can get Darcy Kemper to make thirty plus saves. You think it's that type of game? Well, I think if the Avs are leading it, then we're going to see kind of what we did. We're you know we're going to see a really big push from St. Louis at the end. Yeah. And I think that'll boost up the numbers. And if it's not, and if it's the Blues' type of game, then they've been pushing all game, and they've been racking up shots on goal along the way. So I feel I feel like this is going to be a, a pretty high event game. <laughs> I mean, should we take an over on Blues goals? Are they at three? Is it a three and a half? Yeah, yeah, you can. I mean, you can actually buy it at what if you wanted, you could buy it at two and a half at minus 150. But yeah, if you're feeling great about the three and a half, I mean, that's if you're building a same game parlay. I mean, I like, I'm, I don't mind that the three and a half or the two you're, and a half, the two and a half. You're banking on basically a four three game at least, right? Yeah, which I could absolutely see. Okay, now we're talking. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're in the plus 787s. Um, nice. mm-hmm. Very nice, in fact. Okay, love that. Love that you gave me your your Darcy um, take two. They've got Huso set at 31 and a half. Yeah, or if it plays out the way you think it. Yeah. But what if know. they light him up like a Christmas tree and they yank him like 30 minutes into the game. That's what I love. Well, you know? <laughs> well if that happens, you know. Yeah, fair enough. All these other all these other things that we're talking about, all these uh, overs that we're talking about are going to hit. Yeah, right, right, right. Except for maybe the St. Louis one. Maybe we yeah. regret that two and a half at that point. Yeah. Um, all right, AJ, playoff parlay of the weekend. Avs money line. I'm not I'm not even gonna bother. Rangers money line for tonight. We've talked about that. Mm-hmm. Celtics. Celtics close it out. Yeah. Do we go aggressive? Celtics minus eight and a half, or just take the money line and be safe? I would go aggressive. My God. I like it. Yeah. That puts this us at why I don't bet, right? Plus like, 486 as well. <laughs> You're I just, here. I have. I have two. I'm. I'm just too comfortable saying go for it. I mean, it is fun to go for it. You know, that's the that's the problem. Um, okay, perfect. Yaya, do you have a, a rapids pick for us this weekend? Really putting them on the spot. Oh, 
just take the money line. Money line all the way, and you should be able to get some good money on that. Yeah, minus 105. Actually, Rapids uh, Rapids at home are a GD guarantee. And if you added that to the playoff um, parlay of the weekend, that's plus 1,044. If you then sprinkled in my Champions League pick, that would be even better. Um, that would be plus 2818. So there you go. That would make for a nice weekend. Um, he's AJ Hayfley. Watch all his stuff. Check out all his stuff. Read all his stuff. Um, we'll have a uh, pregame show for all these blues misplaced blues fans that just don't have anywhere else to go. Sad. We'll have a pregame show in about 90 minutes. Nice. And nice. then uh, the watch along and then the postgame show. Tune in. He's on air basically for seven hours straight previewing the game, breaking it down, and uh, watching it and living it with you and with all the Troll Blues fans. We used to have uh, Vegas Golden Knights fans on in our comments, and unfortunately, they have, they have left the building. I don't know what happened. I'm so sad for them. Um, but anyways, wishing them happiness and health and all of you a delightful weekend with your bets, with your life. Thank you, AJ. Go abs, baby. Go abs. Yeah, yeah. Kick us out of here.